Before we get into this replay, I really do wanted to say thank you so much for all the subscribers and all the journey that we have been through. Probably in like a week or two, probably, I would probably say two weeks, I think. I don't really know. Today is the 15th, so that means it's been like two weeks and a half. Yeah, you could say. So, we are really close to 200 subscribers, which is also really good. And we have got a, a lot of views in total lately in the past few days, which is really good. We have 196 subscribers right now. Four more, and we can have 200. Just four more. And we have a lot of views, and we only started this channel December 30th, 2022. Which is pretty awesome. Pretty good. We've got a lot of views. 17,000 views on the Mean Stepmom. That's a lot of views for for me. Like, I remember when I tried to make um, YouTube channels, it didn't really like work out like this one is now. So, I really can't wait to get to reach our big goal, which is two, no, not 2,000, but 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 and stuff so let's get into this role play this role play is the homeless family well poor to rich and there's five girls and there's just a mom so i'm going to tell you guys their names and we're going to do okay let's do the family name this is melissa she's the hard working mom that can't seem to get a better life for her for her and her kids but soon, it might do a whole change. This is the oldest daughter. Her name is Leah. She really wants her family to be very rich or just in the house. So, she tries to work too. This is Tia. She doesn't really... She knows... She's old enough to understand that they're homeless. But she really hopes for the best for her family. This is Rhea. She also understands what's going on here in, in this house. She tries to find people that can give her money just to help her with the family. But no one seems to understand or, like, believe her, which is not the best. This is Mia. She's old enough to kind of understand that they're not living in an actual house. But she really does hope that they can live in a house. And where she could sleep on a bed instead of like a sleeping bag. This is the youngest, Nia. Um, she kind of understands, but then she doesn't. She just really wants an iPad. Now let's get inside into the role play. Mom, I really do hope that we could try better and restart all over again. Me too. I can't keep living like this. We only have twenty dollars in total. I'll try my best to make us some money. Honey, you don't have to do this. It's all my fault that we're in this situation. I really do wish we could open one of these garages. Yeah, but I guess they're locked. I wish they could unlock. Maybe there's something behind all these garages that are important. Maybe. Well, I'm gonna help you un unpack. So this is one tent. Yep, that's one tent. We only have like four beds and there's like six of us. So I don't really know. I'll try to find something. Maybe you could go to the daycare. But we don't have like toddler babies. We have kids. Well, I have kids and one teenager and one adult. That can't seem to be successful. Mom, stop saying this about yourself. You are successful. To me, you are. Maybe not to them, but to me, you are. Thank you so much, honey. I'm really trying, and I hope you guys, you girls really do see this. Because I'm really trying for us. We don't have any water, as you could see. I don't think we can put water in there. Yeah, but we don't even have water, like, at all. And we have this heater thing that's starting to burn down. It's okay, Mom. 
just look on the bright side. Honey, I don't think there is a bright side. But we really do need to like go find some things. We have this flashlight and this heater and that's all. I mean, a flashlight could help. It can do some type of work. Yeah. Okay. I guess I'll spend $10 on groceries and try to get another $10 back. Okay. Girls, I'll be back. Okay, mom. Girls, are you are you all um okay? We're okay. Where are you going? I'm going to go to the store and spend $10 for food. Yay, food! Well, I've made it to the store. Okay. Hi. Oh. Homeless? Oh. <laughs> yes. Hmm. That used to be me before. Well, look, how about this? I can get you some money, but you still have to pay. With your $10 that you wrong. Are you sure? Because I don't want to, you know, do something that's not illegal. Oh, no one has to know. Everything's on me. Everything in here is $1, okay? And I'll get you some more do some more money, okay? Because I know it's probably pretty hard wherever you're living. Look, I have five kids, and it's really hard. Whoa, five kids, and they're all girls, so... They always want their own thing and their own stuff, but I can never do it. Oh, I'm look, I'm very sorry. I can get you some money. We have some money hiding around the place. I don't know why. Excuse me, ma'am, but I know you're trying to get some money at the ATM, ATM machine, but you're going to have to get out this whole area. Wait, why? Just do it or you're not shopping here. Okay. Ugh. Are you coming? Oh, uh, yeah. Look, I don't want to really break the rules. Look, you're not breaking any rules. There's $10 here just for you. You never know what's going to happen, so I just, like, get prepared and have some money out somewhere, somewhere, just anywhere. But I don't know if there's any more money. I'll go look. Oh my gosh, stop. You, you don't have to do this. But I want to do it because you deserve it. Okay. Now that you have $40, do you want to buy anything? Everything in here is $1. $1? Are you serious? I'm positive. Uh, okay. <sighs> Can't believe this. All the potatoes that you're putting in, that's just all $1. So does it really matter? Okay. This is awesome. Um uh, uh pizza. No, not pizza. I don't know where to put that. I don't have a trash can. Oh. It's okay. Just I guess I can't put it in a trash can either. Um milk. Orange juice, eggs, in total, that will be $16. Oh, let me just give you your money. Um, I have $20. Uh, okay, $20. Here you go. Hmm, and I guess I owe you $4. And in return, I give you $50. Oh my gosh, look, you don't have to do this. You don't have to be so nice to me. Oh, but I want to. You really have made my day. Thank you so much. I don't know what I could do. I don't know what you couldn't do. But whatever you could possibly do would probably be successful. Okay, now, I know you can't carry all of this, so I could just take you to wherever you want it. Okay, are you sure? Positive. Oh, so these are your kids. 
Yep, these are my kids. Mama. I knew it. You would be successful. Yep. Okay. Um, could someone help me? We need to all reveal this. I got 16 things for all six of us. Everyone has their own thing, but I just really want to say thank you to you. Oh, you're going to really say thank you to me once this big surprise comes in. Wait, what? What do you mean? Tomorrow at 5 in the morning, I want you, all of you girls, all of y'all in general, to get ready, get everything, because this is going to be really special. Okay. Do I need to, like, give you any money? I only have... Well, now I have $60 in total. No. Look, keep your money, okay? I don't want your money. I just want you and your family to be the happiest family on on earth. Is this what you use to cook your food? Yeah. Look, I have something special just for you. I'm going to be here at 5 in the morning to pick you all up. So, get ready. Okay. Yep, I got you a soccer ball, some dolls and stuff. We got some dolls around here. So, everyone's going to have a fun time. Yay! But what was that lady talking about at 5 in the morning? I don't know. We just have to figure out. Set all of your things down right here, and then we can wake up and play with it later. Or maybe something's going to be different. It's always just going to be us two. We could just go to sleep standing up. Okay, it's five in the morning. Hopefully you guys are right. Oh, everyone's asleep. People, wake up. Just in case you guys forgot. It is five in the morning. And I have a big surprise for you guys. Surprise. I love surprises. Me too. Me three. Me Me nine. There's no nine, silly. Okay, well, what are we waiting for? Let's get in the car. Let's go. It's me, Rita. Okay, Rita. Oh, wait, what's going on? Well, I know you may not know what's going on specifically, but I'm going to tell you. Yesterday, I saw this thing, and they were trying to look for some people who could be act who can be an actress. And I put your name up there because I feel like you can start off as something and restart your whole journey again. <gasps> Mom! So you're already an actress. You get paid $50,000 every month. <gasps> really? Yep. So you're hired. Let me, I can try to find you some clothes or something. All I got is this robe. Here, put that on. Oop. <laughs> Just put that on. Oh, wow, I feel so special. This is your new phone, and this is your wallet. <gasps> oh, my gosh. I really don't know how to say thank you. I just... I've never been special. I've never been gifted like this. Yep. <laughs> well, there's actually another surprise for all of y'all. Wait, what? Um, Why are we inviting other people for privacy? This is your house. Wait, what? Yep, check it out. <gasps> it's a kitchen? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. My bedroom. Where do I sleep? I'll come over here. Oh, <gasps> this is my room. My bed, I think. You guys got a bathroom, a kitchen, everything. Um, And there's... One more surprise. Enough with the surprises. No, you just deserve everything. Here's all of this money just for you. How much money is this? $50,000. <gasps> I don't know how much $50,000 is, but that sounds like a lot. It is. Girls, wake up. 
Wait, what's going on? What's going on? We have $50,000. It's time to go shopping. Yes.